Well, next month marks three years since Nanette Crentel's body was found inside her burned home in Lacombe. No one has been arrested in the case. This morning we want to revisit this cold case and that of a murder that took place last month in New Orleans. There are rewards being offered to help find the suspects in both cases. And Darlene Casanza from Crime Stoppers joins us now to discuss. Good morning. Good morning. So let's start so, off yes, with the Nanette Crentel case. Yes, let's start off with that one. Um, so Ms. Crentel's actually the anniversary of this case. Her death is coming up in July, July um, 14th. So the family had reached out to us again. And it's really sad because there was a lot of just moving parts in the beginning of this case. At first they thought it was an arson. Um, and then they found that she was shot. In the, you know, she was shot. She actually had a bullet wound to the head. Um, so there was a lot of um, controversy going around the case on, you know, the handling from beginning now, but it's certainly, it is, it is an unsolved homicide. We've gotten a lot of information early on. We randomly get tips on Quintel, Mrs. Quintel's case, but um, this happened in her home. Her home was on Phillips Street, right off of LA 434. This is actually a little private subdivision. And um, she was found shot and her pets were found also in the burned home with her. Um, so there is a $10,000 reward. Actually, her husband, Steve Quintel, in, in the beginning was um, uh, um, considered a possible suspect. He has been cleared of that from what the sheriff's office's information is. But we're still looking for someone, someone who had connection into that home or possibly could have followed Ms. Quintel. The FBI has been involved in this case. They actually did a timeline of where she traveled that morning for when she returned back home. But um, it's sad because it truly has not had any new movement on the homicide. Absolutely. Are you still receiving tips or did those kind of slow down as I mean, you said this happened two years ago, three years ago. Right. It's definitely slowed down. But of course, the Crintel family, they have done a lot of bringing their story back out in the media. I know WWL did a lengthy program in the evening um, with Katie on this. So because of that, because of what you're able to do, you know, we do get information. But recently, no, not anything recently that was new that could lead to a, identifying that actual suspect. This so is hopefully whole today this will. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but this is, of course, a horrible situation. Uh, you said you've spoken with the family. What are they saying? They are very um, distraught. I mean, they're actually looking at putting up a billboard on the North Shore in that area to try to, again, um, promote that this case is not solved. Um, they truly believe, you know, there's someone that she knew could have um, committed this crime. Um, but, you know, those leads are st slowly dying down. So we also want to talk about another murder that took place in May in New Orleans. Tell us a little bit um, about that case. All right, this is Mr. Autry um, Boskent and Jr. And he was 41 years old and he was actually found shot early in the morning, shot in a home that he was living in, in the 1700 block of Luciana Street. And he, there was no forced entry in this particular case. So they really believe that he possibly knew the assailant, um, but there's no, no motive that's come through. There's no um, information on or there, you know, how many other people might have been in the home, but he was shot multiple times. And um, you know, the family, when you look at the family, this is a family that's very involved in our community. His mom is a registered nurse and she actually opened up her home years ago. And I, and I asked, I said, did Autry grow up with this, you know, this community service mentality? And she said, absolutely. She opened her home to, um, to do like a health clinic in the lower ninth ward for years. Um, she has, he has several relatives that work for the, worked or currently work for the New Orleans Police Department. So this family is very vested in this community. And regretfully, in this particular case, in Mr. Autry Boskin's case, there has been no serious information or no new information that we can actually identify with NOPD, a perpetrator. Now, the reward is $5,000 in this case, but um, you know, we're really looking for any shred of information. Possibly, you know, people, uh, we know people talk on the, talk on the streets. Um, people that he might have been hanging around with. Um, this gentleman was a welder. He, you know, he was employed. He, he um, actually was a high school football star. Um, he has a twin sister. And what I found was very interesting, his mom said he was born 30 minutes after his sister. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, usually you, you don't hear 30 minutes at length of time, but a right. you know, really loved community member. Yeah. And with no information coming in, the family's just truly distraught. 
Well, we unfortunately are out of time, but we appreciate your time coming on our morning show to talk about these two cases. Hopefully we can get some information to get some justice for these families. And if you have any information that can help investigators find the suspect behind the murder of Autry Boskin Jr. or Nanette Crentel, you can call Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. You can do so anonymously. And remember, there is a reward in both of these cases.